Finally, I have decided to share my lessons on Cebuano writing, especially news writing in Cebuano language, here on my personal YouTube channel. The modules I am sharing here are from the lessons when I had my teaching job at the University of San Jose Recoletos in Cebu City from uh, 2007 to 2012. Mass communication and journalism students, this is for you. Radio broadcasters and journalists in the Visayas and Mindanao areas who are writing news in Cebuano or Visayan language, you can also use these uh, lessons here. I would be producing one lesson after another and upload here on my personal YouTube channel. So please subscribe this channel and like the alert button to remind you of new videos. The word Lapu-Lapu, the name of our national hero, Lapu-Lapu from Mactan Island in Cebu, has been debated formally or informally from time to time. The debate is centered on whether it has a hyphen or not. But here's the rule of uh, using a hyphen from the Academia Bisaya, and I'm using the handouts of uh, Edgar Gudin, one of the writers in uh, the Bisayan area. So the general rule is a hyphen is different from a dash. A hyphen is shorter and a dash is longer. The primary purpose of uh, a hyphen um, is to divide words that split at the end of a line. And the other purpose is to join word parts in, in, into a single word. Now a dash is meaningless to a word while a hyphen changes the meaning of a word. For example, habal habal. That's the noun. But you put a hyphen in between habal habal. That's a verb already. The words are from the word habal in the Visayan area. It means copulation. And it refers to the boar, the hag, um, copulating a swine. Okay, so you can already imagine how the act is done by a boar to copulate a swine. It seems like you are riding a motorcycle. So that riding a motorcycle, that back riding is, uh, uh, seems like it resembles or it resembles to uh copulation done by the boar to a hag at a swine you see so that's the the origin of the word now so if you if 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 you put a hyphen you're saying that it's like you are doing like copulating so it's a negative word so if you are referring to the motorcycle for ride Habal habal with a hyphen, so you are making the word negative that it refers to um, you are copulating. So when you ride a motorcycle with a driver, then you're a woman, then there's a negative connotation there. So you are it seems like you are doing habal habal, you're doing the copulation. Okay, <laughs> so that's a, that's the difference of the word now. Another rule is use a hyphen in repeated words that are intended to emphasize repetition of action and to show similarities or likeness. So, for example, luxo luxo. The word luxo means jump. So, when you say luxo luxo, that's repetition of action. So, you're not only jumping once, you're jumping more than once. Luxo luxo. Okay. Itom itom. Itom is black. But when you say itom itom, it's not really black. So, you are showing similarities or likeness. Like, for example, kaon, kaon, kaon. It means you are eating uh, there. It seems like uh, you're doing nothing and you're eating. So, kaon, kaon. And also, when you say habal, habal, uh, you're referring to uh, the act of copulating. Do not use a hyphen in repeated words that are considered root words and cannot stand if not repeated. For example, huna, huna. There's no word as huna. Buko, buko. In the Visayan word, there's no buko. Only in Tagalog, there's buko, the coconut tree. <laughs> um, don't use a hyphen in repeated words that are considered root words and cannot stand if not repeated. So use a hyphen when it has another meaning. For example, uh, lain lain. Again, 
Lain means another. Okay? Lain. Another. But when you say lain, lain, it's a new word. And that means different. And if you put a hyphen between the two words, lain, lain, and it makes another meaning. It's, it means set aside. So when you make that into a sentence, lain, lain with a hyphen, for example, is like this. Ako ning ilain lain pagbutang ang mga munyeka. Okay? So, you're doing the action. Lain lain. You are setting aside. You arrange it differently. But when you say, Ako ning ilain lain pagbutang ang kini mga lain lain dagway nga mga munyeka. The last lain lain means different. Okay? <laughs> you see that? Did you get the idea? Yeah? So that's the, the 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 rule, and also lapu lapu. When you say lapu lapu with the high pen and the second lapu is a small letter, that's a hero. That's the name the name of lapu lapu, the hero. But if you put a high pen in between the two words lapu, uh, between lapu and lapu, then it means the fish. Is that nga lapu lapu? But the city government of Lapu Lapu, the city council of Lapu Lapu, adopted another spelling. It's spelled Lapu Lapu with a hyphen, and the two letter L's are in capital letters. But for me, that spelling has no historical basis and no grammatical basis. Why? How do our officials in Lapu Lapu City knew that the spelling of Lapu Lapu? is with a hyphen and uh, the letter L are all capital letters. They have no records on that. Second, it is not within the rule of the Cebuano language. Because the rule is, do not use a hyphen when the repeated word is used as a proper noun. So, Lapu-Lapu there as a person is a name. Let's say it's not a name of a person. It's a name of a place. But still, it's a proper name. It's a proper noun. I mean... So, Lapu Lapu City should have been Lapu Lapu in one word without a hyphen and the second L is small letter. That should be the spelling. Another example is Kasing Kasing. Kasing Kasing is heart. That's a uh, noun. And Habal Habal, referring to the motorcycle for ride or for hire, I mean. So, that's a noun. Now, do not use a hyphen when a repeated word is a root word. Again, root word, you don't have to put a hyphen. Lum lum, gol gol, lug lug, pok pok, som som, hos hos, hong hong, song song, tok tok. Okay? Now, combined words. Each of the combined words are all different meaning and the hyphen replaces a missing word. And you can always hear these examples from the newscast. Gipusil patay. Balay lungsod, batakan balaod. What is missing here? Gipusil patay. Ang missing here is og. Gipusil og, gipatay. Balay sa lungsod. Batakan nga balaod. So that's it. I hope you got the, uh, the uh, in this short video, you got the real uh, uh, way of uh, using the hyphen in our own language. And uh, please subscribe uh, to this channel and uh, click that alert button so that you'll be reminded of any future videos here on my channel. Daghang salamat! Ako si Jun Tariman.